Hey, this is Dave and welcome to the Cross Rifles where today we show you a new marbling technique for Cerakote. Alright, so this project started off with a customer that came in and wanted an AR that looked like our floor. We have port epoxy floors with these swirls in them in our showroom, and that's what he was going for. Of course, I said, sure, we can do that, uh, and at the time had no idea how I was going to accomplish this task. But I had done some spray paint techniques that turned out kind of similar before, uh, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So here I have some flashing shingles that I sprayed at the same time as the rest of the project so I could experiment on these and not mess up the receivers and have to sandblast them down and start all over again. The particular colors in this project are a light sand base coat and then uh, OD green and graphite black over the top. I just played around with several different concentrations of paint on the project. So after playing around with the tester, I found out that um, a light, really light mist uh, on top works better. It kind of fractures better uh, when we spray some acetone on it. So here I am laying some green and some black on here. And then I'll hop out and spray some acetone on it and get this kind of marbling effect. Uh, it, these are the test panels I did. My GoPro screwed up and um, all the files that I had from this angle on the receiver set and hand guard and everything on that initial build uh, were none of them were any good. Um, so I, I decided to shoot another one specifically for this video, but um, it's hanging in our showroom now. And. Uh, so I could show you on the receivers exactly how everything looks. This is this right here is just me messing around with this and coming up with uh, what was going to work to get the, the look I wanted. I'm using a, a squirt bottle here and I think I may try a, a spray bottle or some different methods of applying the acetone to see if I get some kind of different looks. I haven't had a chance to do a bunch of experimentation with it yet. But uh, I'll get there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this around and try it in some different directions and see how different colors react to it. Uh, there's no tack time here. You, you, want to, you want to spray spray your Cerakote on, your top layers of Cerakote on, and then immediately get some acetone on it. If it sets up for very long, uh, it kind of comes off in chunks rather than uh, than kind of fracturing. So here's the rest of that first AR project. Um, I'm heading in and out of the booth uh, out to my GoPro to to get awesome video of me using this technique on this this project and all my files went to crap. So I don't know why uh, they just did. You can see how I built this up um, either side of the receiver and then I came back and got the top of the receiver. There's a good shot of that. And just went, went at it one side at a time. Um, what I did figure out uh, on this next project is that you can do it right in the booth really easy and you can do it right while your parts are hanging. Um, I pull them back a little horizontal so the acetone can pool a little bit on them. That seems to have a little better effect. And here's the next project. So I shot this other project so I could get some better video of it. And uh, you can really see what it looks like on the parts. Now this is, this is burnt bronze and white on top of graphite black and firehouse red that are tacked out. Or habanero, one of the two, I don't remember. The, the burnt bronze reacted a little differently than the graphite black, especially. Um, there's some more dots in this from the acetone hitting it, and it didn't want to fracture quite as easily as the graphite black did. Uh, so that leads me to believe that different colors are going to react a little differently to this technique. Or maybe 
I need to use a spray bottle here with a finer mist instead of big droplets out of this wash bottle or something. I don't know. I don't have it all figured out yet. Uh, it's st still turned out really cool. I like how it turned out. It's just a little different than um, the graphite black and OD green. The burnt bronze reacted a little differently. Another thing I'd like to mention is that I have no idea how this affects the coating itself. Um, I don't think it's going to affect the base coat at all, so you still have good protection there. But I don't know what the durability of this is going to be until we uh, beat a couple of them up after after we use this technique. So use this at your own risk. I don't know if it's all going to fall off in three days or not. Or the first time you take it to the range, or I, I, I just don't know. I, I do know that it looks cool, um, but use it at your own risk. So, as I mentioned, uh, I figured out you can do this right while the parts are hanging, and you're going to see me do that here. Uh, I'm applying my burnt bronze and my white and then just kind of holding that part back a little bit and squirting some acetone on it. Uh, it made it pretty fast and easy. Um, it also made it easy to fix anything. If I wanted to throw a little more Cerakote on, on a spot or anything like that, it's really easy to do. Your gun's right there. The part's still hanging. Um, I, I really like this method uh, better than taking it down, putting it on a table, working on it, hanging it back up. And you have less chance you're going to screw something up too. Here I'm applying H300 Armor Clear over this and I think next time I'm gonna try air cure it's not really consistent there's spots that are a lot shinier than others and I don't know if that's because the acetone or what but I think I'm gonna bake this out next time with no clear on it and then shoot uh, air cure over it and see how that looks well here's some more final shots um, I asked my photographer to get some close-ups of this finish so you could really get a good look at it Hope you got something good out of the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, like it, share it, all that fun stuff. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up on Facebook or in the comments. Uh, yeah, get involved in the community and let's help each other. I hope you guys enjoy this technique and send me some pictures of cool shit you do with it. Have a good one. You know what? <laughs> Speaking of